world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Andrew, um, if masks aren't worn, says Andrew, cases will rise again. Really? Yeah, I honestly do think there will be a slight bump back. It will be temporary and then and then things will sort of continue in their natural course. Yeah, I do think that will be the case. Um, well, listen, you two can talk about it because Dr Claire Craig says masks do not work. Why, why do they not work, Claire? Can we just go back to that last point? You could almost add any phrase to that. You know, let's all dance and, and cases will go up again. Let's not step on the cracks and cases will go up again. Of course, cases are going to go up again. It's not to do with the mask wearing. Um, so, yeah, masks don't work. And what's been really interesting about this debate is that people on my side of the debate have been quite clear from for a long, long time that actually this virus is spread in aerosols, which are too small for the masks to have an impact on. And we've seen that in all the real world data where countries have put in mask restrictions. And the actually often the effect has been the opposite of what was desired. Um, but then what's been interesting is that people on the other side of the debate who've been very, very pro-mask, a lot of them have now taken the position that cloth masks do nothing and that people should wear fitted medical grade masks on that basis. So it's quite interesting when you've got your opponent agreeing with you. Andrew, you're looking up to the sky, my friend. I mean, it, it, surely it's hospitalisations we need to worry about, isn't it? I mean, it, it, how does the mask work then? T -t Tell us, put it, put it into layman's terms. Why does a mask help us? A mask can help to trap some of the larger particles. I certainly take Claire's point about the size at which masks are effective, but I don't think all, all of the viral particles are necessarily in tiny aerosols. They're in a real range. So masks are just one small component. They, they're they not the answer to anything, and they're certainly not 100%. But it's like many things that, you know, the hand washing probably has some small effect. Social distancing, you know, the, the distance over which you, we, you separate from people treat, has a big effect. Treat me, so both of you, treat treat me as uh, an uneducated layman, all right? Seriously, and there'll be people now text and go, you are, right? Don't we just have to get on with our lives? It's a cold. Hospitalizations aren't on the rise. We're, we're saying to a, uh, we're saying to kids, wear them in schools. We were, lots of kids at schools need the facial expressions, the emotions to learn. I, I'm not, I'm not criticizing you, Andrew. But at what point are the scientists going to say enough is enough? It's a cold, man. I've had it. It's not going to kill me. I've been vaccinated. Can we get on with our lives? Why is there still this obsession to wear a mask? I don't get it. I'm not sure there's an obsession to wearing it. No, I certainly agree. At some point, we we, we say we've when? done everything that we possibly can. Well, that's the point. No one really knows when. And so the only concern at the moment is, compared to previous points of the pandemics, we still have very high case numbers. So it's yeah. just the argument, do we wait until they go down? But how long might that be? Mm. People honestly don't know. So I'm I'm quite happy with people to say now it's up to an individual personal decision and, and we, we go with it, absolutely. There's very little more that we really can do. It's just a case of do we wait for warmer weather, if that ever comes. <laughs> and, and But no one can really say what, what the actual effect of going now compared with maybe going into Easter holidays will be. Absolutely, no, no one can say that. Claire, the problem for me as well is it's become rather a militant issue, hasn't it? I mean, it's now, you know, you do or you don't. I've seen... Uh, over the last several months, I see people with masks and they just start that. It's absolutely no point to them. It's almost like it's some sort of token gesture. Do you, do you think we just have to get on with it now or what? I really do. I think we have to take a step back and say, hang on a second. If we hadn't had all of this COVID palaver that we've had for the last two years and we were where we are now, right? So if it all started with Omicron, what would we make of it? Well, our ICU beds, a quarter of them are empty. That is unprecedented in January. We've got excess deaths that are below normal numbers. We would be talking about how quiet this winter has been in terms of respiratory viruses. Seriously, I'm serious. This has been an incredibly quiet year. And yet we're here because of what came before. We're here because of what you're saying about these other reasons people are wearing masks. They're wearing masks because it shows their politics. It shows their... Well, they believe... All right, well, what a, all right let's, let's not talk hard. about politics. Let's say that supermarkets are quite rightly a vital service and almost the whole of the community passes through. Dave, who produces uh, The Drive Show and is here today, made a really good point the other day. He comes into work every day on the Tube. He said, I think, personally, I'm always going to wear a mask on the Tube because I can't believe how dirty and people sneezing and coughing and whatever. That's going to be his choice going forward. 
his choice. The problem with choice is that's OK, but it becomes an issue. People are now looking at people who are wearing masks, Andrew and, and Claire. People are now making judgments. It should be individual, but it's not turning out like that, is it, Andrew? It's becoming an issue. No, I do think we have a period of... of, of, of sort of trying to, to understand that, that it's not a judgment on other people. If I wear a mask, it's my own personal decision. I don't want to be judged. And I, I, I'm not judging anyone who doesn't want to wear a mask because, you know, we're in that phase now. We've been asking people to stick to the regulations. The, that, that restriction has gone. So, of course, people are certainly at liberty to say, actually, I don't want to wear a mask. Well, and I understand well, there are certain many occasions where, you know, in schools with, with communications, yeah. it, it is a major issue. Um, we've never found a restriction or a way to try and tap down on this virus that doesn't have other negative consequences. I, I there isn't one. I suspect what I'm going to say will go down like a lead balloon, but, you know, yesterday was Freedom Day and there was enough definitive proof that lots of people are still going to work from home. Now, without appearing cynical, there will be some people who have got used to that, right, and could be rightly criticised. I had a woman on yesterday saying, well, you know, if I go back to work, some psychologist said, you know, my desk might have been moved and I might, I might not be able to deal with it. Maybe the same happens for people. They've got so indoctrinated with wearing a mask. Maybe at some point we need somebody in authority and knowledge to say, you don't need to do it, it doesn't make any difference. I'm not advocating... People can make their own decisions. What I'm against is it becomes, um, if you like, um, something that people are not sure what to do. For two years we've had uh, people saying we should, we shouldn't. At the beginning we were supposed to wash our hands. I've had somebody say to me on this show that the stuff can come out the back of a mask and it's pointless. I've got no idea. I think we've changed the way we live. I think we've changed the way that we look at things and I think that's a good thing. But what would be good is for everybody to... I don't know, the same message to come because it becomes political and, you know, whatever the answer to it is, it should... I hope people can just make the right decision from then. Do you ever see it ending, Claire, very quickly? Ten seconds. Um, I think what you've said is pertinent. It has to be ended from the top. It won't be ended by people carrying on like this because people are wearing them as safety blankets. Children, drama teachers are saying they're finding it hard to get them to take them off and speak because they're hiding behind them. But also, also, if we've had for two years people suggesting that if you don't wear a face mask, you're going to die or you can contribute to other people's deaths. That's also relevant. Thank you both very much indeed. Good talk. Hot talk. talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.